Hey guys, people from YouTube. This is uh, another one of my videos. Yeah. Now, um, I'd like to start by uh, uh, probably apologize because, uh, to be honest with you, I've started to record this video um, as, I were, as I was going along. And this will start to become a video very similar to the last one where things didn't go well. Obviously, guys, I mean, things don't always go right for me as well as you saw on my video when I was trying to correct the mileage on uh, Smart for 2. Yeah, things go wrong, but this one was really getting into my nerves. So I've stopped recording and I've got it sorted, you know, things straight sorted and now I'm coming back to explain you the process of get this resolved so this is a 2003 e46 I believe this is the 2.0 TDI or TD whatever you want to uh, put it across anyway uh, the car came to me a little bit of background uh, the, the the ABS pump or DSC pump was replaced on this car according to the guy the someone else scanned the car and uh, he came up with a ECU internal fault, something like that. So he said to me, anyway, he, he got a second hand, same part number pump, put it in there, and um, the lights came on exactly the same. So the lights that the guy had before and now, so when the car came to me yesterday, the lights was these lights here, was these lights. And was this light, but in yellow. So at the moment it's red because the handbrake is 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 on. But if I take the handbrake, that will go off. But before that would stay yellow. Okay. Uh, now after playing about with several tools, as you can see, you can see my white cable for NCS Expert. Uh, I have at the moment plugged in a BMW scanner, and obviously my work. Uh, companion my DS708 which was actually very handy and we'll get there in a second um, so the, the first thing I've done is obviously when the guy said uh, a second hand pump was fitted um, from their straight away was two things that I knew would have to be done one obviously is the steering angle sensor calibration and the second one would be obviously the VIN number because the VINs, they wouldn't match. And when the VIN doesn't match, it triggers the light. So to change the VIN number, uh, I've decided to use, for several reasons, I've decided to use my BMW scanner. So I'm going to show you that actually under the ECU fault codes, you're going to... No, yeah. You're gonna still, so I'm gonna open ABS. So this error is actually not present, but I'm gonna show you is the error saying, as you can see, yellow fault currently not present. I haven't deleted to make this video, so you can see that was one of the faults that says PT can chassis number wrong. ECU not initialized. So PT can chassis number wrong is obviously telling me that the, the, the chassis number on the pump is wrong. And slash, the second one, is telling me that uh, the steering angle sensor is needs to be initialized. So with Carsoft, so I'm going to clear that now because I've showed you already. So we're going to clear that. No codes will come up. Uh, well, should no codes coming up, but it's a fault going to remember. So why is not coming up? Anyway. For some reason, the code just stays there, but it's not present anyway. So you can see the VIN number in there is the correct VIN number. I'm going to show you. So WBA, you forget those first three. Then the ones you want is uh, ATZ2020 FZ2323.6 And as you can see in there ATZ2020 FZ2323.6 So to correct the VIN number with PA soft Or with a BMW scanner What you do is you go under 
reprogramming and obviously do write FGS TNR TNR that is the VIN number is it's the chronics in uh, German so you do that and we will ask you for the 14 characters of the or symbols of the VIN number which uh, uh, I'm sorry guys I got interrupted uh, so this is the screen so um, so the the 14 digits that he's asking for uh, is is basically you ignore the WBA because that is the same pretty much for every BMW and the number he was is asking for is after this the, the the third character you start in there so ATZ 2020 that is the number you need to put in okay that is why he's asking for the last 14 digits okay same is used they'll ask you for the last seven which is FZ blah 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 so it's the last seven in this case you'll ask for the last uh, uh, 14 so that's why you do it so you do that you put it in there you press OK which is underneath that thing in there it's not gonna come off so you press OK you press OK once you have uh, put it and it will record straight to the ECU you don't need to do anything else so after you do this you need obviously to uh, you need to uh, obviously you need to um, calibrate the steering angle sensor now this was the tricky part uh, this software didn't really allow me to do that I have tried uh, INPA or ENPA uh, with the BMW tools it would fail connection to the ECU every single time I couldn't uh, um, I couldn't calibrate the steering angle sensor and uh, funny enough I got that one which did the calibration straight away and uh, I'm not going to take it through how to do the calibration on this because it's pretty much self-explanatory just follow the screen it's, it's really easy to do the calibration the only thing the only thing you need to make sure is when you press the calibration button make sure your steering like I pretty much have now is dead straight because if it's not obviously it's going to calibrate the zero where the steering where the steering is positioned so if you have the steering like that and you calibrate is got every time you're going to straight the car is going to think you are turning you can't do that I mean you can do that but that that's just gonna you know is not gonna be any good if you need to if you ever need to use the DSC system anyway so this was my case this is how this is what I had to do to recode slash reprogram a second-hand MK60 ABS slash DSC pump into uh, E46 uh, 2003 uh, so as you can see now I'm gonna turn the key off I'm gonna actually start the engine this time and you're gonna see all the lights are off obviously you have that one in red because it's the handbrake but I can easily take the handbrake off and you're gonna see the light goes off so that's it guys that's that's my experience I would like to share with you I hope that helped you thank you for watching see you next time